All right, hello YouTube world. Um, I just wanted to go over this Via Air 400P compressor that I just purchased for my uh, 2019 Eagle Cap truck camper and F450 dually pickup truck. I go out on the beach a lot and I also have 19.5 tires, uh, truck tires, and I found this compressor to be the best thing going. So let me uh, just give a quick overview and I'll show you how it works. So come over here. So first off, you'll see this is another great invention too. These are called Crossfire. Um, these connect both dualies to each other or both tires to each other. Um, so just like anyone else would, I'll take off the, the standard cap. And these are air down uh, devices here. Uh, you'll see a lot of guys on the beach using this. I'm not gonna go all the way down, but I'll get, uh, this, is how the, this is the process that I go with. I'll hook these up normally just like this. These are set to a particular pressure. Um, so what I'll do is I'll put all four of these on each tire while I'm preparing to uh, get the exact pressure. So for these tires, these 19.5, these are not your regular tires. So please, nobody comment. I understand the pressures are different, but these have uh, these are made for highways, not really for the beach. So I can't do to these tires what you would do to a regular uh, run-of-the-mill tire. So I'm shooting for 22 pounds per tire. Anyway, let's say that this goes down to 22 pounds. Um, obviously, it's not at that pressure, but I'll use the Via Air system to check. So, let's assuming we're done. Just, you can stay right there. This device here comes with the uh, 400P system. I also like it too because it has a screw on. It has both. It has where you, uh, just a chuck that you could put on. But here, I can just thread this on like this. Um, because I don't like going on and off the off the for pressure because I'm always afraid to bend the stem and then you're out by the beach and you're stuck between a rock and a hard place. So obviously the pressure here says about 80 psi. That's nothing where we're gonna go. But I'll use I'll use this since nothing's hooked up. I'll let the air out like this. As I said, I'll use the auto air downs. But just for an example, once I get to my pressure, say this was 22 pounds, perfect. I would disconnect it, put my cap on, obviously do four, all four tires, and we'd be done. All right, so I showed you how I aired down. Uh, let's go through how I would uh, fill the tires back up once I come off the beach. What I really like about this, this is obviously a DC powered system with the uh, alligator clamps here so I can click off the battery. I have two batteries here so I can go up either side, although this comes with two hoses. This is just one of them I have connected. There's a second one here in the back. I never use it because I can get to all four tires, actually all six tires, um, from, from this one hose. So once I'm hooked up, I'm just leaving it off so it's nice and quiet. I can stretch over, hook up my bat or hook up my tire like this. And now I'm ready to fill. All right, another option I have here is connecting my compressor to the onboard battery system of my truck camper. In this case, I have 300 amp hours of uh, Battleborne lithium batteries. I also have a manifold here. So if you come underneath and look, I've just clipped in to either side of the manifold. I'll unscrew the caps on either side and clip in there. And I can go for days with the amount of batteries I have here. All right, so normally you have the truck running, but just so you can hear me, I'm gonna leave it off. The only reason why you really wanna have the truck on is because you don't wanna deplete the batteries, but we're not gonna air up that high, so it doesn't matter. This thing has a switch. It'll go on, make pressure, and it should shut off here. All right, what's nice about that is it will keep, it'll shut off and stay quiet unless you're using pushing air. Otherwise, you don't hear the noise. So we're gonna go back over here. We're gonna pretend that I'm down at 22 pounds, which I'm not, but at this case, these run at 90 pounds on the roadway. So I'm gonna screw these on right here. All right, you can see here, we're at 80 pounds. We lost about 10 pounds. So I'm gonna squeeze it. We can easily get 10 pounds out of the battery. 
don't have to worry about it. But as I said, if you were actually doing this for real, for doing two dually tires and two fronts, you'd want to have the truck running or use the batteries off the lithium of the truck camper. Anyway, this thing is perfect for airing down and airing up. The other thing you want to do too is to make sure, obviously you'll see the pressure going up, but you can only read the pressure. You know, the pressure will be higher when you're flowing air. To check the pressure for real, you have to stop flowing. You'll see the pressure, the compressor shut off, but we're not there yet. Anyway, once I'm at 90 pounds, I run 80 in the front and 90 in the rear. We'll be good to go. One thing I forgot to mention, so we're just about at 90 pounds. If you look here at my crossfires, when they're in the yellow, you see the two dash lines when the lines line up, it's 90 pounds. If it's red, the pressure's too high. If it's black, the pressure's too low. Great setup. 